A self-appointed guru's refusal to give himself up to the police has finally led to a massive showdown outside Rampal's Hisar Ashram. These are live pictures, exclusive pictures from a short while ago. I beg your pardon, not live. Hisar turned into a war zone with pitched battles being fought between the police and Rampal's armed private army. A brutal crackdown played out as the police used force to break down the supporters' siege of the ashram to reach the guru holed up inside like a coward. There were tear gas shells fired, bricks hurled, lathis used and rounds fired from rifles as well and caught in the crossfire were women and young children and even media crew covering the story. Headlines today's crew was interrupted in the field, pushed away by a baton wielding policeman. Journalists from several organizations were attacked, many of them injured, some of them seriously. I want to take you straight across now to get you a voice from the ground. Headlines today's reporter Ankit Tyagi, who's gotten closer to the ashram to bring you the most shocking pictures of just how violent the situation had become earlier today. Ankit, what's the latest? Well, Shiv, uh, uh, it's uh, completely dark here, uh, just outside Satlok Ashram. Uh, the operation, uh, in fact, uh, the breaking news right now is the operation seems to be have been halted for uh, uh, the night. Uh, remember, there is a Supreme Court guideline also uh, that prevents the police from uh, any such operation uh, post uh, what happened with Baba Ramdev. Uh, so now, uh, uh, what is happening uh, uh, as of now is that the, uh, the large contingent of the police is moving out of the last quadrant just around uh, the ashram. Uh, they, in fact, uh, uh, there are uh, 50 to 60 people, uh, what we have just been told, uh, those who have also come out of the ashram. These are the supporters, those who are willing to come out. Uh, remember, in the evening, uh, the, uh, the pictures that we had sent you, and uh, we have been reporting on it uh, continuously, that yes. there have been many uh, supporters, those who were uh, ready to come out. But uh, armed brigade of uh, Rampal was not letting them uh, come out, uh, in fact. Uh, but as of now, the situation is tense. Also, Shiv, uh, there are again reports of media vehicles being attacked by the policemen. Uh, I am uh, still inside and uh, uh, trying to uh, may, uh, make uh, my way um, out of the last court. Well, the operation has been halted for the night. Ankit, stay with me. Like you just reported, a large contingent of the police force is moving out of the last cordon around the ashram. Ambulances and a fire brigade vehicles are also being sent back. The likelihood of the operation resuming early morning. Police are fearful of weapons being used or readied inside the ashram and does not want to take any risks at this point of time. Also conscious of the fact that many followers are held up inside the ashram possibly against their will reports of media vehicles being attacked by the police as ankit just informed us is also apparently taking place ankit in effect it's been a day full of violence and it's another day that goes by with rampal still as a free man that's the bottom line okay we've lost that line with uh, ankit uh, he is in, uh, in, a, in a situation where he isn't always able to speak to us because of how volatile things really are. But he's right outside the ashram. These are pictures of injured journalists, people who were attacked by the police while they were doing their jobs. Krishan Kumar, I've worked with him personally as well, video journalist. He's been injured in these attacks. Several of our journalists and several journalists from other organizations have all received similar injuries in a sudden rampage that the police mounted against the media for no reasons whatsoever and no explanation has been provided even by the senior police brass in Haryana with people saying the, the journalists had been forewarned well forget about being forewarned they were just doing their jobs covering the story reporting a story that is of national interest Ankit is still with us Ankit another day, go, day goes by with Rampal as a free man that's the bottom line of today well, absolutely. You know, uh, Shiv, uh, we are getting a lot of flack uh, by the people uh, when we criticize the police with the way they have handled the issue. But that question needs to be asked. Uh, Rampal, uh, in fact, uh, uh, from 9th, uh, he, uh, he had made his intentions very clear that he's not going to appear. He has called in thousands of people to come inside. What was the administration doing at that time? Uh, apart from that, uh, the, the, it, you can understand that Rampal is uh, right now uh, on the wrong side of the law. But the way the police has handled the entire situation also needs to be uh, looked into. Apart uh, today, when the operation began, uh, it was a well-planned operation. Police tried to do their best. Uh, there, there are motivated and trained uh, uh, supporters of Rampal inside. But 
so far what they have been able to achieve is only breaking the front wall of the ashram the police uh, the 12 at 12 10 the operation started uh, till uh, for uh, till about 5 10 the operation went on for 5 hours all they kept, were kept doing was they struggled uh, to somehow get inside we can understand that rampal supporters are very motivated but yes. absolutely no need for the police to attack the media to attack the people those who were coming out uh, my a colleague my camera person was uh, in fact beaten up uh, my colleague from aaj tak was beaten up two of our cameras were uh, broken and we are not the only network uh, media from across uh, many networks have been beaten up i can tell you that uh, there were many times i was close to be thrashed because we were the only ones inside and uh, uh, still reporting uh, right now also we're trying to make our way out uh, from the right. cordon of the police as of now reports still coming in that uh, they are breaking the vehicles of the media that they asked to stand at uh, a given section ankit stay with me i want to play out some of the reactions that we've been getting in through the day of what's happened in uh, hisar including from people who've been injured in the clashes के आश्रम में काफी मात्रा में पेट्रोल बम एसिड के पाउचेज रोड़े पत्थर लाठी डंडा पुलिस और आर्मी के कुछ रिटायर्ड लोग और उनके द्वारा प्रशिक्षित किए हुए जवान तथा हथियार भी उपलब्ध है क्योंकि हमारा यह मानना है कि वहां पर जो लोग हैं अंदर वो एक किस्म से बंधक की सूरत में हैं। आ, इसके अंदर आ, पीछे की तरफ जब हम दीवार तोड़ रहे थे 20 फुट की दीवार है 10 फुट तक तोड़ दिया गया उस टाइम पेट्रोल बम आने शुरू हो गए और यह पाया गया कि उसके नीचे एलपीजी का डंप है और हम नहीं चाहते कि वहां पर एलपीजी के डंप में किसी प्रकार का विस्फोट हो तो उस पोर्शन पे ऑपरेशन को रोका गया है मैं स्पष्ट कर देना चाहता हूं कि ये कॉन्टिन्यू रहेगा आज समाप्त होता है कल समाप्त होता है मैं कुछ समय सीमा नहीं देना चाहूंगा लेकिन समाप्त तभी होगा जब अभियुक्त रामपाल को हम गिरफ्तार करके माननीय न्यायालय के समक्ष उपस्थित कर देंगे एक पुलिस वाले ने आकर मेरे पे हमला किया मैंने उसको बताया भी कि मैं मीडिया से हूँ मेरे हाथ में गनमाइक था मेरे चैनल का आज तक का उसके बावजूद भी उसने मेरे पर हमला किया और मैं वहाँ से जान बचा के आगे ही बढ़ा था फिर दोबारा पुलिस ने देखा की मेरे हाथ में गनमाइक है और मैं फोन पर हूँ फिर पुलिस वालों ने मेरे पे हमला किया मेरा मेरा मोबाइल छीन लिया जो ऑफिस का था और ये संजीव है संजीव का तो कैमरा ही तोड़ दिया पूरी फुटेज इन्होंने डिस्ट्रॉय किया है माइक तोड़ दिया है और मैं इनके साथ ये मेरे कैमरामैन थे सुबह से चार बजे से हम लोग आश्रम के बाहर चले गए थे और पुलिस के जो नाका लगा हुआ है पुलिस की मौजूदगी से गुजरे किसी ने मना नहीं किया हमको जाने के लिए चार बजे से वहाँ मौजूद थे लेकिन जब हमने कवर करना शुरू किया उसके बाद सैकड़ों की तादाद में पुलिस वाले आए और अचानक हम लोगों पे हमला बोल दिया संजीव आपके साथ क्या हुआ जब आप फुटेज कवर कर रहे थे और फुटेज बना रहे थे फुटेज कवर करने के बाद आप मैं उसको फुटेज को देने के लिए वो भी बैन पे जा रहा था वो भी बैन थोड़ा दूर थी रास्ते में एक पुलिस वाले ने मेरे को बोला कि मैं आपको भाई साहब आपको मैं ले चलता हूँ यहाँ पे थोड़ा टेंशन है तो आगे तक ले गया जब थोड़ा सा चला गया पचास मीटर तो उन्होंने मेरे को मारना शुरू कर दिया घेर के लात गुस्से से यहाँ मैंने बैग टांग रखा था तो यहाँ पे मेरे को मारा है और यहाँ हेडफोन था तो उसमें मारा मेरे को गुस्से से और लाठियों से लात कैमरा आपका तोड़ दिया दिया और जोर से फेंक दिया बिल्कुल इनका कैमरा तोड़ दिया गया है माइक तोड़ दिया और मेरा फोन छीन लिया गया है पुलिस का रवैया मुझे समझ